Welcome, everyone. Let's get ready for some NBA basketball on 2K Sports. Kevin Harlan here with Greg Anthony and Clark Kellogg, and our sideline reporter is David Aldridge. We've got the Los Angeles Lakers taking on the Boston Celtics. And now the Lakers starting group. LeBron James is out there with Kobe. Then there's West. Then it's Johnson, and it's O'Neal. And at the pivot spot, Manning the middle. Clock at four. And here's Kobe from the arc. Rebounded by McHale. There's some defense for you. For someone who's as good at shooting the three ball as he is, you, you need a defender who's equally good at guarding against him. Now, here is Russell. It's blocked by Shaq. Sending a statement with that rejection. O'Neal reminding everybody what a forceful defender he can be. A sensational block that definitely deserves another look. And this is postseason play at its finest. Refusing to give up shots here in the playoffs. Here's Russell. Lock at six. It's stolen by West. Johnson outside. They get a hand on it. Here's Havlicek. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. Yeah, and among the many things to like about Hondo, he is strictly about the team. Willing to take on any role, he just wants to win. Shoot two. That's good from Applejack. Both free throws good from Applejack. And that's the norm for him. He's pretty much automatic when he's at the line. On the wing, Kobe. That's good, and it's Johnson with the assist. When it comes to distributing the ball, nobody does it better than Magic. When one of his guys has a clean look, the ball is there quickly and on target. Here's Kuzi. Pass to Havlicek. Stolen by Magic. And now Kobe running the floor all by himself. Count that one. You gotta love his hustle, leaving the defense no time to react. And you know you don't get those buckets, guys, when you're quick to get out on the break. Get that ball up the court as fast as you can. Lakers shooting their first free throw of the evening. For Bryant. So much to like about Bryant's game, but the X factor in my mind is his unmatched competitiveness and work rate. This guy has an inexhaustible appetite for work. Now, here is Havlicek. Russell, and Bill Russell slams it in. It, it really does make the game easy for your teammates when you can lead them to the rim that well with a pass. Pass to Kobe. Shaq with it. Out to Kobe. It's up a three. And the hoop for his third make from the field. He's three for four thus far in the contest. You know, you've got to guard Kobe the moment he crosses half court. He's got that kind of range, and he doesn't have any reservations about letting it fly. And here's Bird for three. Oh, drew the foul and almost hit the three-point bucket. But he'll go to the line to shoot three. Yeah, you, you hate to give up a foul on a three-point attempt. Yeah, unnecessary. I mean, make them earn those points from deep. Don't give them to them free at the line. Three shots. Three shots. Three 
Grow good, Bird. You know, part of what makes Bird exceptional is his all-around talent. I mean, he gets it done on both ends of the floor, and that's how you end up being an MVP in the league. And he's good on the second. And he makes all three. Really always a plus to have a big guy stroke it from the line like that. The soft touch on full display. Lobbed up there for O'Neal. And the rejection by Bird. Here's Kuzi. And a little over two and a half minutes gone here in the first. Havlicek against West. Here's Kuz. Six to shoot. Russell is screen on Bryant. From the top of the key, it's blocked by Shaq. And there's the shot clock violation. Couldn't get the shot off in time. And here's O'Neal. He'll bring it up for Los Angeles. Three-point lead. LeBron dishes to O'Neal. Back to LeBron. Shaq is screen on McCabe. From deep, James. The putback. A rebound by Bill Russell. Havlicek against West. And it's Havlicek missing. And, and, and typically he has the touch to finish when he's in tight, but not sure on that position. I think LeBron is best shooting the ball off the dribble. His accuracy, spot on. Here's Kuzi. Scoreless thus far. Havlicek, the pass to Kuzi. And he drops in the layup off the glass. And, and once he got to the 10, I, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. Well, this early, they should be showing a lot more energy on defense. It's not there. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. Johnson's length makes him hard to deal with inside, which is why he's able to draw fouls. Lakers shooting their second and third shots at the line right here. Taking two shots. First free throw is good. You know, Johnson is really one of the more unique point guards that we've had in the game over the years. And he's able to do it with style and substance. That one misses. Celtics trail by four. Here's Kuzi. At the elbow, it's Bird. Rejected by Kobe. Great defense that time by Kobe. Elite at that end of the floor, too. LeBron kicks to Kobe. A baseline chain. And Boston with the rebound. You're not going to see that very often. Plenty of space, but he just, let's face it, he whiffs on that. McHale outside. Now the pass to Russell. Back to McHale. Russell passes to Kuzi. Knocked away. And here's Bird from the arc. Hits it from three-point range. Bird's got six. For the quick release, Bird gets that shot off in an instant. He was ready and waiting to strike. Havlicek against West. Bryant from deep three. And they come right back with their own three-pointer. How about dueling?
from long range just going at each other. Looks to me like there could be something personal taking place here. Now, here is Havlicek. Down low, here's Russell, and Bill Russell slams it in. And remember, Havlicek was a highly recruited quarterback, so you see his passing ability on that one. Johnson, the pass to Kobe. O'Neal sets the screen for Bryant. Again, the miss by Bryant. Boston trail. Here's Bird. And he hits it to tie the game up. Eight points for him. That's a pretty good play by Bird, showing you some of that deceptive athleticism, getting around the contact and into a shot. Johnson dishes to O'Neal. And the foul called on Larry Bird. That'll be his second foul of the game. Already his second foul. He's in danger of getting into serious foul trouble early in this game. Here's Johnson. On the wing, James. He's guarded by McHale. And here's West for three. Drills it from outside. And this is where the nickname comes from, Mr. Outside. Wes can kill you from distance. Kuzi passes to Russell. Bird outside, takes a three. It's rebounded by West. Los Angeles leading by three. Pass to Johnson. Out of bounds, Boston takes possession. Here's Kuzi. So the Celtics call timeout. They're first. Here's McHale, still scoreless. Five to shoot with the fadeaway. It's rebounded by O'Neal. Fadeaway was the right shot there because he got his attempt away from the defender, but the touch was poor. Outside Bryant. O'Neal sets the screen for Kobe. Picked off in midair. Here's Kuzi. Nice move. And the jumper is good. Kuzi showing you a nice looking mid range shot when he's in rhythm from here. The defense is toast with butter and jelly. Now here's Johnson. 
And here is LeBron. Bobbed up there for O'Neal. Havlicek against West. Pass to McHale. Passes it to Bird. There's the lob to the hoop. Well placed alley you pass yeah, into the layup. You know, passing is one of Bird's many attributes. He's got a great eye for finding open teammates that are ready to shoot it. Johnson finds Bryant. The pass to O'Neal. And the bucket is good. Three-point play chance here for him. Always fun to watch Kobe setting other people up. And a moment now to quickly take a look at the offensive approach for Los Angeles. You know, right from the start, it seemed they got hot from three-point range, pulling apart the defense and racking up the points, too. Also, they're getting into the teeth of the defense. Points in the paint, something coaches always love to see. And a whole new group out on the floor for the Celtics. That's good from O'Neal. Over seven feet, big, quick, great hands. Shaq is a one-of-one one type of player. Now here's White. Outside, Jones. Inside. The shot by Collins, no good. The Lakers in the lead. Kobe kicks to James. To the middle. It's stolen. Tatum looking around. Over LeBron. Rebounded by Elgin Baylor. That's exactly how you have to defend him. He's a guy that the D needs to be aware of at all times. Tatum with it. Outside, White. Leaner from distance. Tatum, no good. That was just an off-balance, low-percentage shot, especially with no room to operate. Shaq passes to LeBron. Great D that time from Tatum. That's the kind of D you need when he's got the ball near the hoop. They were all over. Here's Collins, still without a basket. Tatum with another miss. And not allowing the shooter even an inch of breathing room on that one. And guys, that's exactly the kind of high-impact defense they want to see out of him. Now here's Bryant. Here's with the rebound. One fifty-two left in the first quarter. Now White. Pass to Jones. Over Bryant. Here's Cowens. The kick out to Tatum. And another miss by Boston. No doubt it's been a bit of a struggle for him here in this quarter in terms of score. Rest outside. Rebound Boston. Right side White. Can they get it? And it's good on the way up. White's got the game tied up here for the Celtics. And those are the kind of nice inside looks they've gotten here in the first half. So timeout called here. The first for Los Angeles.
105 left in the first quarter of the game. There's a screen. Tries the spin move. That one good for two. And the Lakers lead by two. Just reliable, guys. He's just always trying to make the right play. Pass to Jones. Outside Tatum. From deep. Wow, came this close to a four-point play. He'll head to the line for three free throws. Coming at you with so many ways to get his points. Tatum draws a lot of contact throughout the game. Gets himself to the line. For Boston, they have been on target from the free throw line. They're 5-5 five five in that department. And the first one drops. A young man who has an appetite for greatness. Always pushing himself as Jason Tatum. Ties it up. And this next one could give them the lead. the free throw is good now leading by one and trailing here in the early going too many careless fouls and they're giving up a lot of trips to the line yeah not only the trips to the line are concerned but the foul trouble also you've got to play defense with your feet and do so without foul at the elbow Jones score the basket nice shot after missing his first attempt six changes of the lead here yeah, both teams still kind of feeling their way through this game. Six seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Goodrich passes to Abdul-Jabbar. And it's out of bounds. The Celtics will take it the other way. And Boston has possession. Outside Tatum. A three ball. No good that time. And so it's Larry Bird making things happen for the Boston Celtics. He notched eight points in the quarter and has that terrific basketball instinct on display. We'll return shortly. back with you as these two teams do battle in their quest for an NBA championship. And guys, what do you think about the hustle stats here for the Celtics? And just a great job so far applying pressure defensively. The opposition is on their heels with the ball in their hand. Nightmares clamps thus far. Hey, we got to talk about the defense too, guys. They've been outstanding tonight as they've already been able to knock away quite a few shots. We've got Parrish. Here's out there with Tatum. Then it's Jones. And it's White in at the point guard. That's the five to begin the second quarter for the Celtics. Worthy against Pierce. Kicks it to White. Let's it go from deep. And that comes off the assist by Pierce. White's got a second bucket tonight. And his passing is probably the most underrated part of his game. Pierce is a terrific playmaker on that wing. Now, here is Abdul-Jabbar. No scoring in this one. And that'll be the Lakers as it goes out of bounds. Lakers retain possession. Oh. 
here's Abdul Jabbar. Passes it to Baylor. Here's Mikan. Six on the shot clock. Now here's Goodrich. White with the defensive effort. For three, Pierce. It's rebounded by Kareem Abdul Jabbar. Lakers trail by four. And it's worthy in the corner. Goodrich against Pierce. And here is Goodrich. And what's interesting about Goodrich, doesn't have great size or an explosive vertical, but, but he's just tricky enough to draw fouls. This is his first free throw of the game. Taking two shots. one falls for you know Gail Goodrich is really good at drawing fouls he's so aggressive as an offensive player and I love the fact that he's got that ability to change pace too which makes him hard to guard both free throws good from Goodrich and here's Tatum he'll bring it up for Boston Flush by Tatum. The athletic prowess of Tatum on full display. What a move to the bucket. Baylor against Jones. Here's Abdul Jabbar. Misses the layup. Boston laden by four. Here's the pass to Tatum. Up against it inside, Tatum fights through. Hatchets his way to the rack. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. Yeah, I think they've got to ramp up the aggressiveness. If they don't, things are just going to get worse from here. The feet to Goodrich. Here's Mikan, guarded by Tatum. Shot clock at five. Here's Goodrich. And the Lakers with another miss. Tell you what, the defense was lucky there. I mean, leave him that open from range, he'll typically knock it down. White looking around. The pass to Tatum. Tatum taking it in. Good on the bucket. Tell you what, that's impressive strength there from Tatum. You got to respect that even when you try to wrap him up. He finds a way to score. He's got his fourth free throw of the game. That's his second personal foul. First team foul. At the line, Jason Tatum. At the line with one shot. Here in the second quarter, we've played a little over two and a half minutes now. Goodrich against White. Outside Baylor. Knocks it loose. White against Goodrich. Baylor. The lead pass was put in just the right spot. He's completely aware of everything around him. Goodrich quick to locate the open man. Celtics leading by seven. Outside, Jones. The kick out to Pierce. And another basket for Boston. Hit works well there. Not much resistance from the D. Yeah, that's not the defense you need. You've got to be tougher defensively. Outside, Baylor. And here in the second quarter of action as we approach four minutes played. 
Stamikin. Just five on the clock. Outside, Abdul Jabbar. From outside, off the mark. And here's Boston. Their defense has only allowed four points in the quarter. White against Worthy. White the pass to Tatum. A chance to extend the lead to double digits, but it's no good. Well, you know, they're in the lead, but he's still been frustrated from an offensive standpoint. Pass to Baylor. Passes it to Abdul-Jabbar. Now here's Goodrich. Shoots over White. White with the defensive effort. To the inside, and it's Parrish with the jam. Jason Tatum scores, but also creates for his teammates a sign of his continuing growth as a player. Worthy feeling it out a bit. Outside Baylor. The pass to Abdul Jabbar. against Goodrich. Here's Tatum and a lot of contact on that one so he'll shoot two here. Gail Goodrich picks one up. And Tatum does a little bit of everything and he's especially skilled down low. Fantastic at drawing the defense into him and playing off the contact while he's going up for a shot. And he knocks down the first one. And, and no matter what, one of the big positives they can take away from this game is how well they've performed at the line. And so Tatum nails them both. No wasted trips at all. They're taking care of business at the line. One way to protect the lead, knock down those free throws. And 100% free throwing for the quarter, that's superb. And Jones pulls it down. Here's Boston now. They're on a 16-4 run right now. White dishes to Parrish. And White kicks to Jones. Parrish with the screen on Baylor. From 11 feet away... And the basket by Jones. Yeah, they're going to have a nice little run here. Lakers trail by 15. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. White against Goodrich. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the contact. Really, uh, the right play defensively. If you can't block, force them to the line. Yeah, exactly. Prevent the layup. Give them a little bump, and then maybe they'll think twice about coming into the lane next time. And if they don't think about it, at least they might be distracted by your presence. free throw missing. You know, he didn't get to the line in that entire first quarter. But right now, he's showing some aggressiveness out there. Good on the second free throw. Austin leading by 14. Tatum on the wing. And the next one puts him in the bonus. Yep, they'll be trying to draw that next foul quickly so they can start getting those easy chances at the strike. Off the inbound, and it's Jones. That time on the assist by Parrish. Jones has got four points this quarter. Offensively, defensively, they are in total control. And don't leave out the coaching staff here now. I mean, their game plan has been perfect. Los Angeles calls timeout.
selfish. So it's Johnson who brings the ball up for Los Angeles. It's a 16-point game. Oh, and the jam by Johnson. A little extra magic for the fans on this play. Rising up for the slam. Well done. Kuzi passes to McHale. And here's Bird for three. Oh, my. He'll go to the line with a chance for a four-point play. Andrew Johnson picks one up. And this is his second trip to the line in the game. Team ball. At the line, Larry Bird. At the line with one shot. A shot. Free throw good, Bird. And here is Los Angeles now. They trail by 18. Pass to Bryant. O'Neal sets the screen for Bryant. Shaq with the bucket. O'Neal's got seven points in the game. Well, the defense tries to slow Shaq down inside, but emphasis on tries because O'Neal just too strong. Bird high post. Bucket is good. And the Celtics lead by 18. And obviously his momentum from the last game has carried over here tonight. And you know that's how it goes with him. I mean, his hot streaks, guys, don't last minutes. They last days. Now here's Shep. Seven points in the game. Left side, Bryant. Rebound, Boston. A slight rebound advantage for them. One more column in their favor, and it's all adding up. Well, you take a look at all of the stats, the team stats, that is, and that's one of the many areas that they've had the advantage. As a result, they've got a big lead. And it's Bird missing. Lakers trail by 18. Outside, Kobe. Good, and the assist goes to LeBron. 14 points for him. He's picking up right where he left off in the first quarter. Here's Kuzi, guarded by Kobe. Pass to McHale. Passes to Havlicek. Back to McHale. Five on the clock. And it's sent back by O'Neal. West against Havlicek. Bryant outside. Picked by West. Feeds to O'Neal. West against Havlicek. The shot. And McHale pulls it down. McHale's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Russell sets a screen for McHale. Over James. Boston again missing. Lakers trail by 15. To the paint. And the dunk by O'Neal. And how about the force with which the diesel plays Shaq on attack. Now a timeout called by Boston.
Double check the pass to Kuzi. Outside Russell. Out to Bird. Nice ball movement by Boston. Shot clock at six. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. It's going to be on Kobe Bryant. Bird would not be denied there. Great intensity to play through the foul. He's had four chances at the line. Made them all. And the first one at the line is good. Bird hits them both. So it's Johnson who brings the ball up for the Los Angeles Lakers. Picking up a second foul here has to be careful because they can pile up quickly. Johnson against Bird. Johnson kicks to Bryant. Here's the pass to LeBron. Just five to shoot. And stolen by Russell. Just waiting for a chance to make a play. And when the pass was made, he's all over it. Just a fantastic steal. Kuzi passes to McHale. Pass to Bird. Wow, drew the contact and that three almost went in. So he'll go to the line for three free throws. Magic Johnson picks one up. This will make four trips to the line so far in the game. At the line for three shots. And he's good on the first of three. And he sinks the second. And he's 100% from the line thus far. Much more assertive offensively in the second quarter. Putting a lot of pressure on this defense. And as a result, Ernie trips to the line. Now here's Kobe. It falls through, making him 6 for 11 in the game. Well, you certainly can't fault him as the reason they're behind. He's been on target and on top of this game. Applejack outside. Good. And it's Bird picking up the assist. Pavlicek's got five. Yeah, and they're shooting really starting to pick up here in the second. Yeah, and it should help them increase their separation here. I mean, this has been an impressive offensive output. Timeout called the Lakers.
Abdul Jabbar has checked in for Los Angeles. There's 138 left to play here in the second quarter. Bryant, that's for two. Harry Bird grabs the miss. Celtics leading by 19. Pass to Kuzi. Here's Collins. Bird outside. A rebound by the Lakers. Abdul Jabbar's got four rebounds in this game. Johnson against Bird. Kobe is screen on Bird. Last passes to Kobe. And here is Johnson. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Johnson with incredible athleticism and uses it to bully the defense there. For Los Angeles, they have gone six of eight from the free throw line tonight. Johnson at the line for two. That one is off. He hits the second from the line. There's 57 seconds left in the first half. Pavlicek against West. Releases. A rebound by the Lakers. Abdul Jabbar's got five rebounds tonight. Passes it to Bryant. Here's Kuzi. 30 seconds left here in the second. Bryant against Burke. Here's Kuzi. Great play by Bird to set it up. Bird's got his third assist on the night. The ball movement on this run has been fantastic and is a big part of why they've been able to get these good looks. Johnson against Bird. Johnson can't get it to go. Here's Kuzi. Applejack outside. And that shot was up in time, but doesn't go in. It energizes everybody when LeBron is locked in like this on the defensive end. And so it's the Boston Celtics with a 21-point lead to end the quarter. And they've created a bunch of turnovers with that terrific D. And we've got more in 2K Sports coming your way after this break. And we thank you for joining this postseason broadcast, and it's been an outstanding first half for the Boston Celtics. They've been playing downhill, getting to the charity stripe, making things happen. Charity stripe, huh? Haven't heard that in a while. What would it look like to play uphill? Hmm. Doesn't sound good. No. Too much of an uphill battle. There you go. Seeing how things are shaking down for the Lakers. They're right where they want to be in the series, but perhaps a bit of a letdown tonight in the first half, Jet. No maybes, Ernie. Definitely a letdown. They got a little too comfortable. And I'm curious to see how they respond in the second half. This is the finals. Can't give away games. We shall see. Thank you for being with us. Now let's send it to Kevin Harlan for the second half tip. And 
And we're back. Good to have you with us for 2K Sports coverage of Game 6. It's been one outstanding game from Larry Bird. And the way that he has helped out with the ball movement has been a difference maker early on. And, you know, that's not a job they asked him to do very often. But in the first half, I thought he was in perfect sync with his teammates. Taking a look at Los Angeles. Brian is out there. Oh, whoa, man. Man, I like seeing LeBron throw it down, especially when he decides to do it with a little flavor. Nice job capturing the moments on the AT&T 5G Slam Cam. Outside, Russell. And there's the pass to Kuzi. It's Bird, top of the key. They double-team Bird, and stolen by LeBron. And pushing it up, here's Los Angeles. And the basket is good. Got it to go through on the contact, so a free throw coming up. Great opportunity for a three-point play. The Lakers have made seven free throws and missed three in this game. Magic Johnson at the line for one. Celtics leading by 16. Here's Kuzi. Outside, Russell. And here's Bird for three. Cranes the three-pointer. Bird's got 22 points. Yeah, that's back-to-back -back threes. The D just seems to be slacking off a little bit. Johnson finds Bryant. Now here's James. To come right back with the three of his own. It's no good. Pass to Kuzi. Third quarter of basketball, about a minute and a half in. And here's Bird from the arc. That one doesn't go. Great T that time from Johnson. Shaq passes to Johnson. Going inside. Rejected by McHale. to Kuzi. Nice jump shot from the top of the key. Kuzi's got nine. Uh, unwilling to let up even for a moment. That's his killer instinct just fanning the flame. Yeah, I love the fact he doesn't play the score. He just keeps coming. Attack mode. He doesn't know how to step off the gas pedal. Here's Shaq. Good, and the assist goes to Bryant. And 11 points for Shaquille O'Neal. Celtics leading by 19. Not quite two and a half minutes played here in the second half. To the inside, Russell. And the slam dunk by Russell. And that's his strongest trait, the, the unselfishness from Kuzi. Fantastic at realizing when one of his guys has an opportunity for a clean look. Now here's West. Outside, Bryant. Six to shoot. Here's O'Neal. The shot from the low post is good. 13 points in the game. And what makes Kobe next level? The instinct for the game. An ability to just see it before it happens. Here's Kuzi. He's got nine. Here's Havlicek. A three-pointer off the mark. And on an open look like that, he's very gifted at making the weak coverage pay. Johnson left side. From deep, Bryant drains it from beyond the arc. Bryant's got 19 points. The composure he plays with that poise is so palpable. Even Solid D can't throw Kobe off. Outside, Russell. Havlicek outside. The shot's good from Kuzi. Tell you what, he has been feeling it, guys. And the best game plan right now, it's elementary. Just keep feeding. Let him eat. West dishes to James. And he didn't punish them for the weak coverage there, but they can't count on him to continue missing. 
here's Kuzi. Off target from outside. Lakers trailed by 19. Johnson outside. He dishes it to Bryant. Over Kuzi. And again, it's the Lakers. Kobe. You know, when it's Kobe running that pick and roll, I think you've got to blitz him. Get the ball out of his hands. Otherwise, you're in trouble. Kuzi passes to McHale. Over James. McHale misses. And here's O'Neal. He'll bring it up for L.A. Bobbed up there for O'Neal. Stolen by Havlicek. He kicks it to McHale, passes it to Kuzi. Down to five on the shot clock. And here's Bird from the arc. Oh, he got hacked on the three-pointer. Go ahead to the line. That's on LeBron James. And a chance for just a second now to check out the scoring breakdown for the Celtics. Well, I've been impressed with the ball movement all game long. They're really looking to just make that extra pass. You know, we've got to talk about how they've continued to force turnovers and turn those turnovers into points. They came out aggressive, and they've not let up. And he makes the first. And the second free throw, good. Makes it, and he continues to shoot well from the line. Johnson with it. Seven points in the game. West. Up again. And the rebound goes to McHale. McHale's got rebound number seven for him tonight. There's the feed to Havlicek. And the pass to Kuzi. They double-team Bird. Here's Russell, shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. That's on Shaq. You know, individually, Russell affects the game in so many ways, but as a teammate, I just think he elevates everybody else's play, makes them better. That one misses. So we can't get either to fall. Lakers trail by 20. Johnson kicks to Bryant. Back to Johnson. Kuzi with the rebound. And Boston has possession. But three. Good for another bucket. He's made half a dozen now. Six for eight on the night. Could have been much better defense. I mean, you can't give this guy any room to operate. Pass to Shaq. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Shaq, such a beast inside, which is why defenders elect the fouling there. He's gone one of one in the game so far from the line. Two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Out 
That's good from O'Neal. O'Neal hits them both. Boston leading by 21. Here's Kuzi. He's got 15. Outside Russell. The kick out to Havlicek. Nice ball movement by Boston. Just five on the clock. Bird outside. Fires the three. Hacked on the shot. And he'll have three chances at the line. Magic Johnson picks one up. He's been getting to the line. Now his sixth trip in the game. At the line for three shots. And he hits the first of three. And he's good on the second. It's good, and he's 100% from the line thus far. And so it's Johnson who brings the ball up for the Los Angeles Lakers. And out of bounds as the Celtics gain possession. And this has been a comedy of errors. I mean, you can just add another one to the list. Getting another opportunity here to see that powerful rejection. Well, you got to take your defense up a notch in the playoffs. He takes it up about three notches on this block. West against Havlicek. Pass to Bird. Puts up a deep three. The long distance three is buried. Bird's got 12 points in just the second half. It just seems like the more he touches it, the more the lead grows. And the Lakers call time here. Bird's gotten six of his 11 attempts to go in so far from the field, shooting almost 55%. Passes it to Bryant. Puts it up. That one falls coming off Johnson's feet. 
Johnson's got his fifth assist in this one. Kobe Bryant so hard to slow down. What a gifted offensive player. Now here's McHale. Nothing on the board. And it's Bird missing. On the wing, James. Defended by McHale. And LeBron used to getting hit. This is the level of attention this man attracts from the D. And he's got his first free throw of the game. LeBron James. Two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First free throw is good. Look, the physicality has always stood out with LeBron. It's been obvious, but his basketball IQ is what makes him such a special, special player. I mean, he sees the game like very few ever have. Catching up on the changes for Los Angeles. Abdul Jabbar's checked in for Shaq, and it's Goodrich in for West. Both free throws good from James. Wow, they've made every free throw here in the second half. And that efficiency is, you know, so critical when you're looking to overcome a deficit. You've got to be close to perfect and can't waste scoring opportunities. And not the most common call you'll see in the NBA, but hard to argue that pick wasn't illegal. Yeah, you know, the officials aren't nearly as lenient as they used to be on that call. As a matter of fact, I know I got away with a lot of those in my playing days, but that was 40 years ago. Now, here is Abdul Jabbar. He has yet to score. Not too many defenders are blocking Kareem inside. One, he's too big, he's too powerful, and he's too skilled. Bird outside from deep three-point land. An absolute pound from three-point range. Bird's got 34 points. Now Goodrich, he has seven. Fouled in the act of shooting. Gets the bucket anyway, so a three-point play chance for him. Yeah, terrific play right there. Great strength to finish through the contact. That's exactly how it should be done. Get the bump, concentrate on the shot, and you'll get the bucket too. Celtics leading by 21. Here's Kuzi. 15 points in the game. Here's Havlicek. And the Celtics hit again from deep. It's been this way since halftime. Tremendous production from beyond the arc. Well, it's been a three-point barrage. They came out gunning and have not stopped. Now here's Baylor. Shoots over Havlicek. Baylor's shot is off. Havlicek dishes to Bird. Back to Havlicek. Here he goes. And that's rejected by Abdul Jabbar. Wilkes kind of slippery, doing a nice job that time drawing the contact in the act of shooting. It's his first trip to the line. Shooting for Los Angeles. Jamal Wilkes taking two shots. The first one falls. And Wilkes, one of the more versatile players. I mean, does everything well on offense and is a pretty impressive defender, too. And good on the second, so he makes them both. Celtics leading by 22. Here's Kuzi. He's got 15. Three-pointer, Bird. He watches it go through the hoop for his eighth make. Now eight for 14. My goodness. Oh, boy. Bird just playing some major range, making a tough shot look easy. 
the pass to Goodrich. And that one falls coming off of Davis's feed. Goodrich has got five points now in the quarter. It all started with the pass. That's what coaches love to see, ball movement. A wide open look for Burr. And it's Boston with another. He just exudes a love of the game, guys. You can see it in everything he does. This guy lives and breathes the game. Now here's Abdul Jabbar. Now here is Davis. Pass to Abdul Jabbar. Two minutes remaining in the third. Six minutes. 156 left to play in the third. Just five to shoot. The second chance effort. And the layup is good. Boy, Kareem Abdul Jabbar's length really makes him a threat on the offensive glass. Celtics leading by 23. Bird, the pass to Havlicek. Austin making a switch here. White's checked in. Now into the lineup for the Celtics. Number 10, JoJo White. One thirty-three left to play in the third. Here's the three. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. And here is Goodrich. He's got 12. Pass to Davis. Here's Goodrich. Pass to Wilkes. Five to shoot. Baylor is green on Havlicek. Here's Wilkes. Baylor. Rebound, Parrish. They have been really controlling this one. You never want to be complacent on the floor. That's when you lose momentum. Now here's White. He has five. Parrish kicks to Bird. Havlicek left side. Good work defensively by Baylor. Here's the Lakers with the ball. Outside, Davis. And stolen by White. We've got a nine-second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. And Cowens gets it to go. And Cowan is a physical player. He seems to welcome any challenge the deep throws at him. Remarkable at scoring, even while getting knocked around. Now here's Goodrich. Down low. The shot by Abdul Jabbar, no good. Right side, White. Here's Bird. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. That one on Baylor. You know, Bird is a lot taller than people think. He's closer to 6'10 than 6'8. And that helps him inside defense trying to stop him, but got sloppy and fouled him. And he makes the first. He hits both from the strike. And so it's Larry Bird making things happen for Boston. This has been a remarkable game for him offensively. Anytime you get over the 40-point mark, it's been a special, special day. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back.
While we have the chance now, folks, let's go to our State Farm assist of the game. And he sliced the D wide open with this feed. They had no chance to prevent that basket. Yeah, that's just a brilliant read of the defense. I mean, it was also excellent anticipation of the movement of his teammates before the pass. Just great harmony on all sides. And there have been two very different performances from these teams today as we get going in quarter number four. They've got Jones. He's out there with White. Parrish is out there with Havlicek. And it's Cowens in at the four. That's who's in the game for the Celtics. They're scoring boatloads of buckets. It's raining buckets from inside. Well, the defensive rotations have been a step slow, and it's really helped them get that ball inside time after time. Now here's Jones. Inside, Parrish. And it's Parrish finishing it off. Bam! Parrish with the flush. The Lakers on offense. Baylor dishes to Goodrich. Davis with a screen on White. Goodrich, that's good. Goodrich has got nine points now in just the second half. And since halftime, he has been a different player. White against Goodrich. Out to White. to Havlicek. Five on the clock. Excellent D there from Goodrich. And thus far they've managed to overcome an off game from him offensively. And Baylor throws it down. Yeah, an explosive athlete, the precursor to the high flyers, prone to the spectacular Baylor with the strong move. It's Jones on the way. And there's the pass to Cowens. Nice ball movement by Boston. Pass to Jones. Floats one up. And that's rejected by Abdul Jabbar. Worthy the pass to Baylor. Good, and it's Worthy picking up the assist. Boy, quality find that time by Worthy. I'm sure he could have taken that shot himself. But he'd rather find a teammate with a better look. To the middle. Here's Jones. And blocked. That one goes careening off the glass. Pass to Goodrich. Got it. Number seven on the night. Seven for 11 from the floor. Moving it around. Eight of their last ten coming off assists. You know nothing makes a coach happier than selflessness on the basketball court. Now here's White. Just a little under two and a half minutes have passed now here in the fourth. And there's a whistle. And that's going to go on Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. That's his first foul. Tatum, he's checked in for Boston. Pierce comes in for Jones. Substitutions for the Celtics. Jason Tatum, Paul Pierce. Here's Collins. Outside, White. Here's Tatum. It's on target from a high post. And the Celtics lead by 21. And using his teammates, Tatum creates just enough daylight to get off a shot. Goodrich passes to Baylor. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. First team foul. At the line for the Lakers, Elgin Baylor taking two shots. Free throw good from Baylor. And you know, beyond all the things Baylor gives you, he's an entertainer out on the floor. The acrobatics we see, something spectacular from this guy almost every game. So he gets them both. Celtics leading by 19. Third minute of action now gone here in the fourth. They set the screen. Prills the three-pointer. 
You got to D up Tatum from deep. He's got that kind of range. And the Lakers have possession. Goodrich with it. Fires from deep. And Tatum pulls it down. And I think that one could have easily have fallen for him. Right the pass to Perry. And it's Parrish finishing it off. You have to love the unselfishness on display there. Excellent pass. Baylor kicks to Goodrich. Loads it up for Davis. Hammers the alley-oop through. Well, there's not a better target in all of the NBA than Davis for the alley-oop. Outside, White. This is it to Pierce. Got a piece of it. Baylor with the steal. And here's the fast break. Davis leading the way. It's blocked. Outside Tatum. And that's rejected by Abdul Jabbar. Here's Worthy. And Tatum pulls it down. Tatum's got four rebounds in this game. There's the pass to Pierce. Launches from deep. No good. And that was a little bit of a range check for him. You know, guys, I think he's got confidence to shoot it from anywhere, but he could have gotten a better one than that. Well defended that time. He's a shooter that the D has to close down on quickly when he's ready to pull the trigger. Now, here's Tatum. Six on the shot clock. Good on the seven-footer. Tatum's got seven points here in this quarter. Well, he's been a different player here in the second half, looking much more comfortable on the offensive end. So it's the Lakers now. Goodrich passes to Baylor. Davis with it. Pass to Goodrich. And Tatum over to help. Here's Worthy. And that one is off. Excellent D there from Pierce. Kicks to Tatum. Down low, here's Cowens. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. How about that skill set that Cowens possesses? Shoots a high clip from the field and rebounds the ball well at either big man position. Cowens at the line for two shots. First free throw is good, so both teams making some changes here. And so he makes both from the line. And so it's Johnson who brings the ball up for Los Angeles. At the teardrop, he lays it in. The energy Magic brings to his offensive game is undeniable. His passion and joy and playing palpable. No way for the defender to keep up with him there. Now here's Tatum for three. Pierce, good, and it's Tatum picking up the assist. And certainly they are not hesitating, letting it fly from deep here in the second half. Yeah, I have no problem with that. As a matter of fact, I hate to see teams get conservative with the lead. As long as they're good shots, Take them, and as long as they're falling, continue to take them. And here is James following the three-pointer by Paul Pierce. LeBron's skill level is so great. I mean, that mid-range is not his go-to, but he can do it all, so it looks like it's part of his go-to. Steps back. It's stolen by Johnson. Inside. Oh, and the jam by LeBron. And guys, that's not as easy as he made it look. You've got to have some skills to pull that off. Well, he's got plenty of those, yes. that's for sure. Yes, indeed. Let's just call him ladder climber. And Bryant throws it down hard! 
Kobe, such a smart defender. He does a good job recognizing when he can make that gamble and come up with the steal. To the inside. Tatum draws the double. Pass to Cowan. Shot clock at five. And there's the whistle on the shot. Took the foul. Shot misses. He'll be shooting two. And the foul called on Los Angeles. At the line for two shots. First free throw is good. Some changes for Boston. Bird, he's checked in for Jason Tatum. And it's Havel check in for Pierce. And Los Angeles making a change here as well. O'Neal's checked in. That one falls, so he hits both of them. Now Johnson. The dish to Bryant. O'Neal sets the screen for Bryant. And O'Neal with the basket on the assist by Bryant. Bryant's got his fifth assist in this one. Austin leading by 21. Kuzi passes to McHale. Johnson against Bird. They double team Bird to the paint. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. Second personal foul. Four team foul. At the line for your Celtics. Dave Collins. At the line for two shots. First one falls for That's also good. So he hits both free throws. Here's Johnson. Outside Bryant. And good coming off the assist by Magic Johnson. Johnson's got his seventh assist here tonight. Celtics leading by 20. Passes to Havlicek. Down low, Collins. He gets hauled in by Los Angeles. West outside. Austin grabs the miss. Havlicek's got four rebounds in this game. The pass to Kuzi. Here's Collins, defended by West. Here's Collins. Good work defensively by Kobe. Johnson outside. Dishes to Bryant. Kobe draws it up. Stolen by Bird. Ball's knocked loose. Kobe with the steal. Jumps up. And the dunk by Bryant. Kobe so good as a two-way player gets the steal, and he's taking it right to the rack. Outside, McHale. He kicks it to Bird. Here's Kuzi. Applejack outside. Lock at six. Here's McHale. Lays it in without an inch of room around him. Yeah, you know, the way McHale is built, long arms, he's kind of got coat hangers, shoulders, chest sticking out. I mean, it's very hard, difficult, almost impossible for any defender to bother his shot. Hangs home the trifecta. A total defensive collapse. I mean, no reason to allow him that kind of space from behind the arc. Now a timeout called by Boston. And the lack of rim protection, top of the list. Yeah, you know, just look at the numbers, guys. I mean, they are being taken to the woodshed in the paint. Headed 
to the floor right now. It's something entertainment. present our New Balance player of the game, Larry Bird. Well, he completely took over, I think, on both ends of the floor. Scoring with authority and influencing a lot of plays, almost every play. This was the kind of night you dream about as a player. He was not intimidated at all by the pressure of their situation tonight. There was some tension in the building. You could feel it as these fans know what's at stake. But that only served as motivation for him. Good from Havlicek. And the Celtics lead by 19. Late in the game, up big, they continue to attack. I don't think you want to get loose and sloppy or ease up, but it is time for them to start using that clock a bit. The high post shot, second shot opportunity, and he gets contact and the whistle on the shot. Two shots coming up. You know, we often see this approach against O'Neal, trying to deny the big man a clean look, but he still finds a way to get it off. Shaquille O'Neal, two shots. Take a break, take a break. Two shots. That free throw, no good. And he can't hit the second. And so it's McHale with it. He'll bring it up for the Boston Celtics. They have a 19-point lead. Havlicek against West. Three-pointer, Bird. And again, Boston with the triple. Boy, Bird has really been in the zone throughout this game. Johnson against Bird. Johnson dishes to Kobe. Back to Johnson. Los Angeles with another miss. Boston leading by 22. Pass to Russell. Kicks to Havlicek. Bird right side. Five on the clock. Russell a screen on Bryant. Here's Kuzi. And it's Boston with another. And it's just competing. You know, giving your best when it matters most. Yeah, you know, once they got victory in their view, a huge injection of energy and a great run to finish it off. Kobe, no good. Frank, their unselfish play has really been impressive. They're trusting one another out there, wanting to get each other involved. This is great basketball. Bird can't hit. And you could tell he thought that triple was going to fall. 
And he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. It's going to be on Bill Russell. Third team foul. Shooting for Los Angeles. Magic Johnson at the line for two. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And the first one at the line is good. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. And Boston has possession. And they can just let the clock run out here. Cannot argue with the W. Just one second between the shot clock and game clock. Russell, no luck. Bird against Johnson. And so it's Boston easily grabbing this one. I think, Greg, they played with a little more you know, a relaxed demeanor tonight, knowing this was it, now or never. And their season continues because of that, Kevin. How about forcing a Game 7? This is big, and it's going to be an intense battle. I cannot wait. It'll be terrific. You're right. So NBA Finals Game 6 now complete, and the series is deadlocked and going to Game 7. For Greg Anthony, Clark Kellogg, and David Alder, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. And now, we present the New Balance Player of the Game, Larry Bird.